Okay, as you see, I've got my whole thing in. I've got my bearings in here. You can't see it over here, but there's a bearing in over here. These are my trucks. It's in place. I had one of my screws too high and I actually scratched my platen here. That wasn't very good. So, anyway, you see this one here? It's not spinning anything. You can't tell, but this rod's not spinning. But this side spins it really good. So what i got to do is I have to bring this side down by tightening this bolt till it actually grabs. You don't want it to grab too hard because you don't want to put an indentation on this rod at all. See, now we just almost just now grabbed. A little tighter. Almost tighten the back a little bit too. And what we're trying to do is bring this side of the truck down to the rod. Okay, oh, there we go. Now we have a nice spin on both of them. Now I'm going to grab here and make sure I can't slip. And it doesn't want to slip. It's not much, it doesn't take much to turn it. And that's good, you don't want a lot of friction here. So when I turn this, these two turn, and in turn are going to turn the platen back and forth. Everything's very, very important. Now I'm going to put an adjustment here so I can just push up a little bit if I need to. I don't think I'm going to need to, but I'm still going to have it here just in case. See, this is kind of loose right now if you look. But once I put that piece of plastic back like it was before, it's going to make a big difference. So you see how this all goes together now. The last thing I'll have to do is I'll put the platen in and then I'll adjust to make sure the height of the wheels are good too. So I'll have, and that can be done from the back without affecting them the front much. So you got to adjust a little bit like this to make sure you get everything right where you want it. We got good pressure on the top, but pressure on the bottom and a nice smooth thing. We do not need slippage. Slippage is going to equal a bad image and bad images cost money. So that's where we're at with this little device. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put some hot glue into this here and hot glue on the other side of this one. And I'm going to actually give you a little picture here. I want you to see this. Because if you look, there's a little nub out here giving me a place to glue. So, that's the whole thing. Let me just scan it over, let you look at it. Again, you're going to have to come up with your own measurements on this. Just make sure, make sure everything touches and play, play with everything until you got it just right.